In this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall Windows updates coming up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go on over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to remove Windows updates. Maybe they were installed by Microsoft automatically or maybe you accidentally installed one and you want to go back through and remove it off the computer. So without further ado, let's head on over to the computer and take a look. Now that we're over here on the computer and there's multiple ways to get to what we're going to be looking for. You can get through it through the control panel or you can go through the start menu, which is what I'm going to show you in today's demonstration. So we're going to go on. We're on Windows 10. We're going to go down to the start menu and we're just going to begin typing the word update. As you can see, check for updates comes up in the list. Now I'm on Windows 10 version 1903. If you're on 1809, it's going to be very similar, but may look just a little bit different. But overall, the steps are exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and left click on check for updates and it's going to load a new window. You can see Windows update. You're up to date. You can check for updates manually here. But what we're looking for is about uh, two thirds down the page and it says view update history. We're going to left click on this and that's going to take us in to this new menu which has a list of all of the update history that you've installed on the computer but not only that but we're looking for right here at the top where it says uninstall updates go ahead and left click on uninstall updates once you've clicked on uninstall updates it's going to open up the old school control panel and show you all of the updates that have been installed on the computer typically if you've accidentally installed one or it's automatically installed an update it's going to be under the installed on it's going to list the date so you can kind of track it down from there not only that if you're unfamiliar what an update actually does you can look up the KB reference which is is a knowledge base reference over on Microsoft's website and it will kind of give you a breakdown of what the update actually is. Now, if we go through and we click on some of these, you'll notice some of them cannot be uninstalled. Typically, the security updates cannot be uninstalled because that is a patch for Windows because of a security flaw or a potential security flaw. So they will not let you uninstall those. If it was an automatic update for a security update, you won't be able to uninstall that. So keep that in mind. So as you can see, if we click on the very top one here where it says update for Microsoft Windows, it does allow us to click uninstall because this one isn't a crucial update. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and then left click on uninstall. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to uninstall the update? We're going to go ahead and click yes. You're then going to get a message that says, please wait while the updates are being uninstalled. This might take several minutes. It's going to go through this progress. As you can see, the progress bar is moving across. Do not hit cancel on it. After the update has been uninstalled, you may be required to reboot the computer for it to finalize. So just make sure that you have all of your documents or if you have anything open, make sure that stuff is saved and ready to go for a reboot. It's time to crack a cold one while we wait, of course. Again, once it's completed, you're going to get this message. You must restart your computer to apply these changes before restarting, save any open files and close all the programs. Same thing I told you guys just a second ago. So we're going to go ahead and click on restart later. So for this demonstration, I went ahead and clicked on restart later. I will do a reboot on it, but you'll notice that that update has disappeared from the list and you can go through and you can kind of click through the ones that you want to remove and make sure, but I would highly recommend going through and at least looking up the knowledge base reference just to get an idea of it. If it is something that you want to remove, that's just a quick way of how to go through and uninstall any type of update history on Windows 10. And that wraps up today's video, bringing us into our question of the day. What other Windows tutorials would you like to see on this channel? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of stuff tech related from unboxings all the way over to tech news and tutorials. So I'll link a couple over there on the right hand side of the screen for you. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on future content and we will see you on the next one.